Hello, this is uh, Dave, and welcome uh, to Equity Story. I'm with the wonderful Wolf, and this is just general share advice and and not personal. Uh, Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie. Ooh. By the way, I just want to start. Uh, Queenslanders, Queenslanders, right? Yeah. Um, you can now choose your sex. So I just, I think it's been passed, hasn't it, in the Queensland? So if you decide now that you're not a, obviously a boy, you can actually go and they can, you can be a girl straight away. So um, that's something that I know you've been waiting for and happy about. Um, and my uh, my question is, uh, is that does that is that going to affect the rugby league a little bit as well? Is that going to make Queensland a little bit easier to beat, a little bit less tougher? I'm not, I'm not a rugby fan, but you know what? For a very conservative step, that's very progressive. So I don't follow it, so I don't know. Well, uh, I, I, you know, well, you can be a girl now if you want. Great. Well, it right. gives me optionality, right? Yeah. Uh, here in New South Wales, we're still men are men and women are women, yeah, but okay. all right, just thought I'd let you know. Thank you. Um, <laughs> um, all right, let's go. G general yeah. advice only, general shared advice only. And Yes. Let's start. Let's start because we're going to have a look through the Einstein's. We have some really good stories actually on Einstein's and good charts, very, very good quality, story. quality companies all looking good, and okay. that's that's good to see. And I think yeah, we did talk about that last week, didn't we? About how um, you know, some of the quality stories are really starting to trend, which is great. Um, so Wolf, we've had some news today. Now, this is definitely not a buy. Uh, there's a stock that trended. Obviously, one we got out at three dollars. Um, Dubba. Why yeah. it, Why on earth do you want to talk about a stock that looks like it's about to go broke? Yeah, I know it's up 12% today. Uh, uh, why Why on earth do you want to talk about it? I just want to sort of bring a stock to people's attention that, you know, we talked about the takeovers recently, right? That we've seen 100, 200, 300% premiums, right? That was probably in that same kind of boat in a way. But, you know, what caught my eye today was that uh, announcement today. Well, I mean, it's up 10%, but it's still not trending. I still wouldn't be buying at all. But these companies need to obviously get themselves out of this quagmire that they're in, or out of the doghouse, uh, wherever they've been, right? So the update and the outlook for FY24, um, the, the interesting things I picked up from there was that they are, you know, they're growing, which is okay. But the cost base is still like 65 million bucks. I mean, it, how on earth can you have such a big cost base for such a small company? I don't quite understand, right? It, it is crazy. But look, at the end of the day, if you're in this for some bloody reason, right? And I don't want to hear the reason because it's probably make will make no sense anyway. Um, there's always hope for you that if they can keep coming up with those sort of announcements, you never know, you might get some money back, right? Um, because it's probably too late for you to sell anyway. Uh, it's you know, it's almost at that broke level. And someone would come in and maybe offer some extra sense for to take it over because it's not a bad. When you look at it, the technology they've got is pretty good, right? So it could be someone that could be interested in it. It's never not. So that's the only reason I want to talk about it, Dave. That if you are, there is still slight hope for you. All right, FCL, and you, you, and you told me off. You said, Dave, why was this on outside? And I think, um, um, listen, it, I, I, it should have been because. There's possibly a, a 10 percenter in that, right? Mm -hmm. um, but go on. It came out of an announcement today. Yeah, and it it's, not, it's not too late to get in it if, if you wanted to buy it anyway for a little trade. All right. Well, let's talk about the announcement because um, it was quite interesting and probably supports that little move last week, right, where the actual charts doesn't look a bit better. Um, so are, are, all, you, so are, you, are you not telling me people in the know were buying again, are you? No, not at all, Dave. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 never, never, never. never. Never happens on the SX. Yes. Uh, that, and I uh, see why you were skeptical not putting it on. Yeah, <laughs> no. But let's look at it. Let's look at the announcement. So Phineas announces new contract with Guardian Life. So this is a uh, life insurer out of the, um, I think, um, let me see, Got company of America, Guardian. So they're getting a, a nice contract out of that. The other thing they're talking about is the guidance for FY 23 and 4. So it's not too bad. I mean, there's a little bit of good, maybe a little bit of, mm, but generally speaking, I think they are heading in again the right direction where they're talking about they want to get to that cash flow positivity, right? Uh, so look, I, I can see that 10%. You know, you're talking just, mentioned it just before, get up to the 220. I can see it. If, if the market behaves itself and NASDAQ still does its thing of 
looking pretty good, right? Then I could see this that getting that ten percent and you taking your profits and moving somewhere else. But you know, that's the sort of possible, not a bad actually company that has got already over two hundred million in revenues, right? So it's not a crappy, crappy little stock stock that's really should not even be doing anything at all. This is not bad. All right, and then it doesn't look too bad at, bad on the chart. So you know, maybe a little trade in there. It's actually starting to move up as we talk. Okay. Well, uh, there we go. Where the, I can't find those bugs in the office anywhere, but um, uh, TLX. So, uh, Wolf, TLX, it held that 10. It's bounced yep. back up. Uh, is it going to go on for the next run? It's it's uh, down today, but again, some very decent occasion news. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we're, we like the company. It, they've been every now and again coming up with a announcement, just getting us to know what, what's actually happening. Another one of those updates. wasn't anything specifically strong or you know revenue wise that you go bang it goes again it was just a progress report on a phase two study of the company's what is it carbonic anti-hedge which is which is targeting um i think looking at i don't know i think it was if i was looking right there was a cancer i think it was not bowel cancer that wasn't one of the cancers but what they were doing is that indications were positive so they you know, getting some recruitment, rec recruiting out there. So it's progressing along quite nicely. We'll see how it goes. Um, but we don't worry about that too much. It's not, it's going in the background. It's good. It's helping us out, but we're, we're more interested in about the, the cash flows and everything else that's going with that main, main um, product that they've got at the moment, which is going great gun. So we're very still happy in, in there. This is just an extra bonus going, come on, give it, give me more, give me more. Okay. Um, AVH, Wolfie. Mm -hmm. Um yep. Yeah, I'm surprised it's down because here we go. I've just had a look at announcement. Avita Medical announcement, FDA approval for resale. I mean, a good announcement. Um, I, I just wonder again, sort of, you know, maybe people were buying this up because they knew the announcement was going to come and they're just taking a, a little bit of a profit. But I think uh, if you're in this, you'd be holding it and and maybe an opportunity to 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 get some. Yeah, absolutely. Um. So pre-market approval, what, uh, that's the only probably thing I need to have a look, look at what it actually means, pre-market approval PMA of its resale system. Uh, the other thing is maybe in that I'm just wondering why isn't it going stronger is the reported uh, treatments. I think they were talking about 36% of resale treatments resulting in pre-pigmentation of at least 80%. So you think, is, should that be higher? You know, look, it's just some of those questions. If maybe you follow the story much, much closer, you'd you'd have a better understanding of it. But I think generally speaking, it's very positive. I mean, you get FDA pre-approval, whatever. It is good for the company that it can move along, get to the next stage, get to the next phase and keep selling. Remember just recently they had that, you know, the, the full market approval uh, for the products in different areas. So it's still looking good. I, I've got no issues. And, you know, Vitiligo for me, it's just another, another optionality, potentially more revenues coming through. Uh, we've got Hanson. Yep. Uh, uh, again, I had a really good, I had a really good chart, and then CEO CEO's deciding to uh, step down. Oh, how many times have we seen that last last six, three to six months? It's just mm. unbelievable, right? But like, at least it's not one of those he's been fired and you know they've got rid of him quietly. Is I think he's transitioning to another part of the business for whatever reason, focusing on growth maybe. So a new CEO steps steps in that was in the company anyway. So it's almost like shuffling the decks, right? Is that not as bad as someone getting fired? Possibly, right? So, but saying, still saying that there's maybe some going to be some question marks of the strategy there. Um, absolutely brilliant. And uh, lastly, but not least, uh, BBS, where again another stock where the Cincinnati saves us a big time, and uh, uh, oh. you know, really, it's looked like a dog really from three dollars. So, uh, but and you know, people. Stopping people from buying this all the way down. And anyway, it's at four, 0.46 and a half cents. Uh, can it go lower? What's the announcement today, Wolf? Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm, I, sometimes when I read some stuff, I just shake my head in disbelief. I'm going, what are these guys doing, right? That's my in, on, reaction. Because they, they've hired this CEO 12 months ago. Um, big fanfare, you know, ex Google, whatever. You know, the big companies that she worked in, um, corporates, in Australia, in America, whatever. So big names by the sounds of things. 12 months later, bang, you go. Thank you very much for your work. You're out. 
<laughs> thinking, oh, we're going to concentrate on finding someone with more experience. I mean, what? I think you just had it, didn't you? And you can't, I, I, I don't know what they're doing out there, but it's obviously not working. Um, whether, the, whether the company needed to get rid of it and it's actually a good thing, maybe that's the result of, uh, you know, the share price, maybe we'll see positive out of that. I, I don't know. But when you see, a, you know, see your lasting only 12 months, you know, there's issues. Um, Wolfie, you know, what we like to do is obviously talk about stocks where people can make money. That's what uh, Trade Watch is all about. Really? I, 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 <laughs> and uh, it's not just to make, uh, listen to us have a banter. Now, Wolf, uh, stocks, I think, look very good on Einstein's. Let's go through them because you actually, yeah. you don't often do it, but you actually congratulate me. He said, Dave, I love a lot of the stories on. Yeah. on uh, and you know what's good? It's great to see that this quality, quality story is really starting to trend, right? So, you know, BXB, where we made a lovely little trade on that, okay, hits a trend line. It, um, there's a lot of talk about this being worth around 15 bucks, correct? Um, yeah. That's quite right cool. 14 and 15, right, where we had this couple of upgrades. Yeah. It means we're more interested. Yeah, definitely. It's come down to 13. I think, you know, if you look at the chart, it looks like it is, it's on the way back up there. Yep. Uh, you know, some quality stories, Woolworths, Again, hits the trend, looks like, and it's got bounced up absolutely beautifully today and looks like, uh, you know, looks like it, it could march up. Uh, CWI, mm -hmm. a good price action last week. Hello, you know, you know, got like 280 maybe $3 a target price. Looks excellent. Yeah. Um, MMS, uh, hot stock, still looks hot, right? It looks very, very good. Uh, car, um, the breakout of car was excellent. I, I, I love that. This is Dave. This is the story went on to my um, um, weekly wrap as the one that I thought could do quite well this week, right? And the reason why there's another thing coming through for car sales. So I'm just going to give it a bit more of a wrap, right? So first of all, I love that just because it's it's tried to get through that 24 bucks about seven times, right? Yeah. Well, obviously that setup is beautiful, but I think the reason maybe there's more interest in the breakout here is I saw a um, statistics on car, car sales themselves, not car sales, the company, but car sales themselves. That's going quite well, but the prices of cars are dropping. That's good news. That's good yeah. news for car sales, right? You're going to have people, more people going, oh, oh, people are coming get down. We're going to go to buy. We're going to buy maybe electric vehicle, all these sort of things. That's good news for car sales. So I am, I'm liking and, it. And good, good news for inflation as well. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So there's definitely, you know, the statistics are very positive for me for car sales well, and inflation. Yes. Well, we're going to have a look at Wolf's weekly wrap in a second. Um, but NXD, again, you know, a quality story. I know you got this one in the fund, but I thought the price action was excellent. Again, mm -hmm. quality, Wolfie. We got, you know, the insurers, AUB. Looks mm -hmm. excellent. I mean, you you know what what you're looking at resistance four times. Hopefully, this time it breaks through that twenty eight. Mm -hmm. IAG price action last week was stupendous, right? Um, you know why would you buy that? Uh, Prometicus, wow. I mean, it just goes on and on with it. NXT again, mm -hmm. one were one were trending. It hasn't quite gone on. It decided to come back and have a dip. But come on, let's get that let's get that uh, profit on it. XRO, absolute beauty. Looks like it's still on the way to that 130. I mean, Wolfie, quality stories for our quality cl clients mm. to look to trend in a yeah. market that still is looking very, very reasonable and could go, potentially, we don't know, uh, but could have a run if uh, if this, these inflation numbers start getting knocked down in America next month. Mm -hmm. Correct. Um, DBI, again, you had a nice little buy signal. Good little dividend play. It looks like it's on the way to that 280. I thought Qantas didn't look too bad. But again, another insurer, QBE, looking very, very, very good. Uh, Wolfie, again, I know it's terrible. I stole your idea. But, um, you know, that's what I do. Um, CHL, a company you like. So, uh, again, I went for this one a little bit because you didn't go for it. I checked what you put on your wrap. Uh, and I could have gone for something similar, but I didn't. So I want to be a little bit different. Mm. But I like the price action because I thought the chart's been in this, really struggled in this downtrend for a long, long time. And I saw it, this is a little bit like possibly a little A2 milk. But what I like about it, Wolf, is that I read an article that they're talking about, you know, inflation hurting. Uh, you know, people are looking for more affordable holidays, which could which could really benefit um, uh, CHL. Mm. Uh, uh, um and and th they've had a few acquisitions recently, and they're pretty close to being break even, yep. right? And maybe what they're talking about next year possible. That 
is a sort of catalyst that that can change the world and uh, or change the direction of a stock. Well, and, the quality of the company. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, well, or change the world for the people who are running it. <laughs> um, um, so, so that price action last week, I thought was interesting, mm -hmm. and I thought maybe it was telling me we got to get some news, right, or some positive mm -hmm. news. So, a little bit risk. So, when I put this as a hot stock. I did put a stop loss on this one because it is a risky sort of story, right? I don't want to get people stuck here. So I've got a little stop loss on that. And I think we've got initial target price of 230. So, um, but I thought, Wolf, well, it, it was very, very interesting, right? Yeah, definitely. And look, whatever you said is right. And I can't believe you've done some research. I mean, that that is impressive in its own right. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. So yeah. I hope that, you know, there may be the announcement coming around the corner saying that we're going quite well. Uh, and if that happens, we probably might see that 240 give you that 10, 15 percent out of this. So we, yeah, I, I like this. It's well, yeah, you look, you said it's absolutely risky, 100 percent because it's still unprofitable, uh, but it's looking good. An IPG up uh, three, four percent already today. So, mm. ooh, I did it again. <laughs> right now, Wolf. You my... stole it again. Yeah, that that that's uh, right. That's right. I stole it. Stole it again. I stole it again. Right now, Wolf. <laughs> I'm going to go to my favorite thing on Equity Story. Uh, uh, is and I hate to say it because yeah, you know, it just makes me. It, it's I find it really annoying that you keep coming up with always the best stuff. But I love the weekly wrap. This right? is what happens when you do stuff on Friday. The, before, the weekly, the week, end. the weekly wrap is my favorite, right? And because it's very, very simple, and this tools tells you all about these different stories. And the first one is ah the serenity right so you have all these like little really ridiculous sections where i don't know where you came up with these ideas from a nice dividend story agl you got and... to be to understand all this stuff dave obviously right. i'm testing your Austra australiana and you fail very miserably right but you know what it's ah it's like agl so looking for possibly a five six percent dividend with a growth yeah, so looking... obviously, you know, they've updated very well. The market really liked it. They talked about the dividend as well. They're going to be paying out 50 to 75%. Um, so when you sort of extrapolate the numbers, you know, if they can come up with that sort of figures, the, the growth they're talking about, the bottom line they're talking about, which they did state in their announcement, you're looking at between 4 and 6%, somewhere along the lines, right? So that's why I said, you know, ah, that's <laughs> not. If they can deliver that over the next couple of years, that four to six percent, I think that's decent to take it. So let's yeah. take a little ground of five percent, and you know it's better than bank. Definitely, definitely. And uh, now you've got your FOMO Yomo, which is was a ten bagger, mm -hmm. and you're talking AZS. So what are you telling us about this? Well, basically, that you know that one stood out as one of the big gainers for the week, right? So I'm I'm lo looking for the big gainers that happened during the week. Why did it go up by a hundred percent, right? And that went up about ninety four percent during the week. So I just make a little blurb about, you know, where this is going. And I just thought it was maybe overdone. All right. Fair enough. And that's what we want to hear because you see these things go up and then get crashed. Now you've got Hasta La Vista, baby, time to take profits. So I'm interested in this one because for me, the chart still looks good. I know. But, but, but I agree. There's a time where you, you don't want to go off the cliff with the lemmings, right? You follow the lemmings, but you don't want to go off the cliff with them. Yeah. So your feeling is, is that this is about to go off a cliff, right? Um, well, maybe not on a cliff, but at least, you know, you probably want to lock in some profits somewhere along the line, right? That's, or, that's or, my or, or, or at least tighten that stop. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, we've, yeah. seen it with, we've seen it with XRF. It's come back. You know, the smaller stocks, right? Um, so that's come back. LAU, that's come back. All those ones that we followed with the upgrades, they've come back to China. This one hasn't yet. So... I'm thinking, you know, do I need to wait for that to happen? No, I can probably take my start looking at some profits now. So, yeah, maybe it's not the strongest like a profit type stuff. But, you know, the, I think when you look at what's happening in the market where the bigger stories, you saw your list of really good stories, Dave, and you've now you could go, I'll take my profits and I'll maybe move into something like a BXB or AGL or something like that. And maybe some of the tech stocks. And forget about this for the moment, right? So I'm just thinking maybe there could be a swing as well out of this smaller type stuff, the, the safer type stuff into the more riskier type, type stuff. It's just my just my view. All right. Um, and again, we talked about BXB. Of course, you'd be nibbling on that, wouldn't you? Coming down, good story. Growth, mm -hmm. yeah. Get and it, I know, totally. it's, you know, I said pound-free zone, but Hound would be very happy with that. 
<laughs> oh, the hand would, yeah, the hand would be. I, in fact, the hand would be happy with nearly everything you're putting on, except CSL, right? But but you're obviously not happy with that one either because that downgrade, yeah, um, you're losing you're losing a bit of interest in it. Yeah, yeah, it has to go. It has to go in the doghouse. I mean, that's what it is. Houston, we have a problem. The dog of the week, and you know, there's, there's actually been a few of them during the week. I have to be honest, but I had to choose one, and that one I chose was the downgrade one, CSL, which. A market darling going into a doghouse, you know, big call. But I think if you look at the share price performance, there's nowhere else you can put it but the doghouse. Um, and I've got this. I'm calling a mulligan because IFM is a story you liked. It didn't really go next week. But I, I think you're being a bit hard on this one. You're calling it a mulligan, but that price action still was not bad last week. Wolf. It wasn't. But you know what? When you, when you sort of go back to when I made the case for it, the only thing I was missing was an announcement where I've got that fundamental thing going, ah, this is the reason why it's going up and I'm happy with it. There wasn't one. So I'm I'm sort of starting to think, was it the right call to say this is a good buy for last week? So that's why I'm going to say maybe if I had my time again, would I do it again? That's that's the train of thought here, right? Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I'll, I'll have a second thing. Maybe I think I'll go, maybe I want to see an announcement before I put it out. However, saying that, like you said, it's not a bad thing. I didn't say it's a sell. It's still technically a hold, of course. But, you know, if I had my time again, maybe I would have made a different call. Uh, killing the pig, what worked for us, obviously, IPG Group, which, mm -hmm. I mean, really, since you discovered that story fundamentally, Wolf, it's been it's been a good good, good story. Good? Come on. It's, great. <laughs> it's been great. And it's been good for hot stocks as well. Now, Kiss, kiss of Death, yeah. our best idea for next week, car sales. And, and you know, we both swooned on that price action last yeah, week. Yeah. And it does, again, the quality stories breaking up, you know, mm -hmm. it's done what, eight, eight, eight weeks sideways and then bang. I yeah. mean, you know, it's sort of fitting into the sort of price actions and the criteria we like. And, you know, great trade. You know, you could even put your stop loss pretty tight just under, under yeah, that previous so as candle. As, I think as long as NASDAQ behaves itself and, you know, we've got a, a decent week or two ahead of us. I think we could make some money out of out of our castle, and you know, and like, like I said to you a little bit earlier before we started talking about this weekly wrap, uh, the castles themselves are looking quite positive. So, all up, I think, you know, I have to say, inspired choice. And of course, you know, I, this is interesting. Your sort of biggest news of the week, mm -hmm. um, and saying how inflation looks like possibly, and we're not going to know till really next month. Uh, could no. be down down in America. It's still tough in Australia. Uh, does that mean, I, I know not everyone trades US stocks, but could that be a catalyst that maybe the US market might do a little bit better than ours the rest of this year? 100%. I think, I think yeah. that's pretty much the setup here, right? That we are struggling. Um, you can see that by the charts themselves, or XJ versus NASDAQ and uh, Dow Jones, right? So you can see the difference. And, and that's why I'm sort of thinking, you know, where we are going to have a much tougher, much tougher time here in Australia, I'd say. Um, yeah. And, uh, what and then Kiska Kasey, which what what do you uh what is this? What yeah, is Kasey, what is this? <laughs> um uh so a little bit of a view of the ASX and the stocks on the market, which is yeah, good, right? especially yeah. the, the the smaller smaller cap stocks, which is frustrating for investor, right? But um that, that's the thing you got to plan for, unfortunately. Uh you know, there's gonna be positives and negatives uh doing Australia stocks, but uh sometimes it's frustrating, so I just need to air my views. All right, absolutely brilliant, Wolf. Absolutely love it, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, well worth uh, even just the 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 full share, the full price of what people pay for every story. Absolutely love it. Mm. Uh, on that note, we've gone for a lot of stocks today. We looked at opportunities, mm. uh, plenty there for for everybody. Uh, possibly that FCL could be a little trade in it. Um, and uh, have a good day, Wolf. Thank you very much, Dave, and see you tomorrow. All right, see you, mate. Bye bye.